What is up? This video I'm showing you guys all my top 35 tweaks. If I'm kind of you right, um, top 35 tweaks and apps. So it's going to be an activator. So um, an activator, you can choose like certain gestures or actions to perform or do a certain action for that specific or specified um, type of model or whatever. Alkaline. All right. So alkaline is a really sweet tweak and lets you just customize the way you want your battery to look. So as you do see my battery up here, it's a little small bar. That's because I'm using Ballas using Alkaline. You can always install it. Mine's white just for some reason. This is an installing package or something. I really don't know why, but it's not working. So a uh, pack's two. Uh, there's a user guide and some some things you can change. So swipe up. I'm going to add here, and I'm sure it's something random. And then I'm not going to add it, so it take a very long time. But then, then after that, you'll see on it, you'll see the icon. You can hold on the icon, and then you have another plus on it, and then click on the plus and add a different one, or you can get that one out. So that's a pick two, but you want to add a pick two. Next one up is at Balenci. So I'm not going to enable it, but uh, it's just a like touch ID, but for your face. So, like, you want to take, so all you got to do is open, open up that Balenci app, take, take a picture of yourself, and then when you're done taking a picture of yourself, all you got to do is just, how do I say it's like just so it's like touch ID is I'm trying to say it's just for your face so I mean it's just better for hackers not to hack in all right app heads so in app heads what you can do is um I'm just gonna open up Cydia for a quick second and then you'll see down here I have this little small dot down here this is a Cydia icon I'm going to click on this. It's going on my home screen here now. So it's still there. Alright, so now it, it opens up the icon, then the studio shows up exactly the action where it's right now taking. Hold the home button, and then it will take you back to your home screen. Alright, so that's what I really like about that specific tweak. Alright, assistant extinction. Nothing really here to show, but you can just add certain extinctions to your Siri. As you do see in the icon down here. And also, now it's better powered down. So, what's what you do is that you have the iOS 6 style. So. So I'm going to enable this. Then you get the iOS 6 style a little bit, not fully, but a little bit. Power tap does not work with this for some reason. It does not say reboot or respring or to power off. There's a problem with that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not fully work. I'm going to get the classic iOS 7.1 style. I'm not going to stop and I'm going to respring if you want to change it. Alright, so Carp Deem. Um, really sweet tweak. I've actually just installed Kindle, uh, so that's why I have this little Kindle icon here. So it lets you add certain things to the notification center. So, uh, so share widget. So now I have this little share widget, Twitter, Facebook, and then some um, news feed, and then m email, messages, WhatsApp, and then line if you have those. Then obviously Kindle if you want to show a book on Kindle. And you can always mess around with that settings in just Carp Dean. All right. Today has crashed. App heads, whatever. All right, so. CC settings. Now, you do see my uh, control center, and there's only four. And the reason why is because I'm using um, CC settings. And what this lets you do is customize the way you want uh, your control center to look. So I'm going to swipe up here, and then I've got this four, and then each page has four. All right? And you can always mess around with things. And when it says include, it means exactly include certain things. So, like, on the first page, so, so these are the first four. Wi-Fi, cell, and then airplane, and then home. So these all go in order. They're not, they're not just randomly put somewhere you want. It goes specific in order. And then it puts out toggles. Line 6 is the max. I'm going to tap on that. Sure, 6 is the max. 6 is the max. And then you can, can dismiss control center. There's more about that. It lets you just, the minute you just go and turn on airplane mode on and off. On and then off. It immediately dismisses it, and then it closes. So it's okay. Um... Okay, no, I don't need you. Oh god, this is really annoying. Sometimes I really, I really get annoyed. And then it merely probably dismisses, but for some reason, stupid no SIM card always says it. It's just annoying. Well, this means that it excludes certain things from the control center. All right, this is not a classic lock screen. Have your iOS 6 lock screen. This is for you. Screen the lock screen here. It will probably crash. I'm not that sure. Here for 
sleep really gets sometimes annoying, you know, like sometimes like it really takes a long time for that to work on an iPad. Oh well, so that did not work. So I'll end the video, come back in that next part. Oh well, so see, I'm in safe mode. Okay, well, uh, yes, I know I'm in safe mode. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't need you to tell me I have no SIM card. I know, I'm gonna insert it though. So it seems, last plot screen, main suspect, huzzah. I'm gonna respring this thing. Sorry guys about the issue. I'm just, it's, it's a problem I'm always having. It just never works for me sometimes, so yeah. And if, and if it doesn't see my boot level properly, it's right here. Uh, I just disabled flux, so it's a little bit that way. And disable flux, so you guys can see a little bit more of the um, background over here and around. It's almost done, I hope. And here you go. iOS 6 lock screen. Perfect, right? Not really. You don't just swipe anywhere. You certainly you have to certain you have to swipe at a certain spot. This is so annoying. Oh, there we go. Just go and slide here. And then yeah, I got no no SIM card, yeah. I know. And today this because I just crashed. I wasted two minutes just waiting on the stupid thing to load up. But whatever. Alright, so Mac and settings. Thank God. It's going to disable that. That's really annoying. All right, classic switcher. I guess we the iOS six multitasker. Obviously, it's kind of fun. This one has crash reporter. So, uh, I'll show you guys more about that later. But you can have CPU usage, memory usage, low memory. What's taking up the most? Why some words crashed? This that. As you just see up there, I always get banners. That's because I'm using crash reporter. I mean, that's not beside elite eight actually. Uh, I'm not using. I'm actually using Taiji jailbreak. So that's why. Uh, though I have pingu there, I actually don't want pingu. So I'm going to hold on, let's say, dream board. And then and it sure showed you, uh, I have just wiggly things around. And that's all because of side elite. So I don't always have to go into a CD store and like uninstall the app. You know, it's, it, I don't want to keep on respringing. It's just annoying. So side elite A is perfect for that. Next one up is side down. As you say, make sure you have installed side enable and then and enable Sidely and then says to apply changes just Cydia and then you get free um, purchases. Next one up is if found too. Or, sorry guys. Uh, so you just lost your iPad or iPod or even iPhone. If found too is perfect for you. I mean it, it really is. I'm not kidding. It has you all the information. So this device belongs to, device owner is, please return to, owner address, city, state, zip, country, owner image which I put up here. So then they know who I am. If they know me, I can immediately give it back to them, you know. Alright, and then email button set up. You know, there's so much you can manipulate just by using if found too. And, you know, you can actually get back a lost iPad just using certain tweaks. Really? No kidding. Alright, next one up. Ilex Rat. So what, this, what you do is, um, let's just say this. Immediately... Save slash deletes all your city tweaks in just one sorry city uh, uh sources in just one command using ILX RAM. I really don't know why I hadn't saw that, but whatever. Tell the screen next delete I'm gonna skip that because because it'll take a lot more time. And then you get like a period of the time, news feed and then notifications here, and then between them they have weather, you know all that kind of stuff. But right, I release. Oh my gosh, who does not like this? Uh you really have a broken home button and you cannot use it. You can tap on anywhere in the status bar, and then you immediately go to the home screen just by using that. So that's I always want to check that out. All right, Link Tunes. Um, I would say obviously incompatible, but you can still use it. So what Link Tunes do uh, is let you have free music in the iTunes store. So it's really fun. Uh, next one up, local AP store. Obviously, same thing as Link Tunes, but for apps. Free, not apps, but free in-app purchases. So it's really fun. Lock glimpse, uh, gonna enable lock glimpse for a quick second. Let's go and unlock this. Then you get this, like, this little, uh, touch ID right here, this little sensor. And do not tap on unless you have touch ID. I actually don't have touch ID, so. 
Yeah, see, it doesn't work. Alright, so next one up, I think, is Nintendo 3 No, it's mini player. Alright, so mini player lets you, uh, have a little mini player in the, on your springboard. Power tap, as I just said, when you hold the, uh, power button, it shows up this, right? You can tap once, and then I say, it'll say reboot. So it says reboot here. Tap again, respring. Tap again, it says safe mode. Alright, so it's really, you can always change all that just by sending the track text. Alright, Priority Hub. So, I'm not going to send myself an email, but you have this little small badge of your notifications. Safari Download Plus lets you download anything from Safari onto iFile. Share widget, as I said, can enable certain things. So, on the icon, style, the height, blah, blah, blah. So, enable Twitter, Facebook, and then it says Sina, Weibo, then Tencent, Weibo, or Webo, or whatever it's called. Then Mail, Messages, um, WhatsApp, and Line. I'm not going to turn these two off because I don't really use them as much. But it goes like that. Sleek code, password only. You can change your password settings there, and then you have to do um, manipulous settings, and then you can always change that up. Next one up, slide to kill eight. So I'm gonna do this really fast. So, I'm gonna swipe down on my home screen. Oh my gosh! I closed all my applications. Slide to kill eight. Let's do that. It's been going on ever since I think iOS six or even five. I think. Um, I think that was a max, it was going iOS 5, but I mean, I, I really do not really know, I never really tried that out before, but, you know, ever since then, I've, I've always installed it on iOS 7 and higher, but I never really know. I just want to decide for usage. So in usage, you can technically see how long you need using it. So, as you see when I swipe down, it says something here. I'm not going on my, that's the way it is. So swipe down here. It says last open, and then use for, and then total duration. And then here it says total duration, and then use for, and then time used. Alright, spin. I'm going to, want to enable some songs, so, um, just want to music here. And here we go. Let's go to songs. Let's go ahead and play Black Widow. Second. And let's go to my lock screen. Bam! You get this really sweet music type of thing. And you hold on this, you can vertically scroll through it. Spin does not really work well with um, with lock glimpse, so I'm going to disable that later. You know, you can always change all that settings. Alright. So that's long glimpse if you want to check that out. Sorry, no, that's not lock glimpse. That's called spin if you want to check that out. Sorry about that. Sprint to my three. Um, you can do animation. So, like, my dock here is a little side instinct. And that's because I'm using, obviously... No duh. Spin to my three. Uh, check that out and tweak too. Same thing. That's how you can have this little uh, up here. See along this bar is here. So that's the same thing as long as for your music. So as you do see here. Test modifier. Bam! I really love this tweak. Uh, as you do see up here on my status bar, it shows my the date, the time, and then everything else like the RAM info and all that kind of stuff. All just using status modifier. Then up here, I don't have that little beats thing anymore, as you guys did see on my old videos. And then up here is a little different with that little music mute thing up here. Alright, next one up is Tage. I don't really use this much 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 because I don't have it activated. So it's activate. Yep, I uh, cannot activate. Boom, see I told you. Oh wow, it's typing my email. It's gonna type in a different email. Alright, so now it says activated, and this is activation failed, so I cannot, well, I can still use a tweak, so I, it doesn't work. You have to buy it, or you're out. Alright, next one up is Vertex. So I'm going to enable this for a quick second. I'm going to my um, multi task right here, and as you do see, I have my, my control, well, I don't think you guys can see. I have, I have my control center in my uh, apps, which I really like that. Watch board, you really want that Apple Watch, but you just want it on your, on your device instead. Watch word lets you do that, and you get this watch word UI. It's just it's just like Autorum, it's probably a little different. In probably a way, so I'm gonna disable that just for now. And this one up is Winterboard. So what Winterboard lets you do is, um, well, have certain specific specific themes for Springboard. Our next one up is Zeppelin. I as I just said, I said that little beats thing. 
Uh, it's not just because I'm doing fast modifiers. That's the reason why it's just a little different. And yeah. Alright, so coming up next in the app, some skip studio. Obviously, you guys should know what studio is. But uh, using a pack going on next week. Alright, so next one. So the first one up is 3K. If you have a TG jailbreak, you guys probably should know about that. Alright, activator. Uh, pretty sure it's the same thing in the, in the settings. Next one up, shoe. So you can record your screen and audio just by using shoe. Now this is for non jailbroken and jailbroken users. All right. So next one up is bring to my three same thing as the uh, settings. First one up is sorry, um, the next one up is at Valency. I have one saved picture, so if I have my password on, I must have that enabled. My font two changes your font. Wallpaper box that you have certain has certain wallpapers for your device. Font swamp that you just have certain fonts or change your fonts. Terminal has a little command prompt or t um, obviously terminal stuff for Mac on your springboard. So then I click roll, as you just obviously, if you have iCleaner on a Mac or PC, it's perfect and touch screen next, same thing as the, um, studio. Just as the settings. Movie box, which have free, uh, movies and TV shows. My Wi untethered and Wi Fi tethering. So USB tethering, uh, on Wi Fi tethering, you know, everything. So then obviously, Safari downloader, you can, um, uh, let you. Uh, download obviously as I just said download certain things from the internet. So city enable really it's black. I I don't know. I don't know why I installed this week, but I I I about want to get it doing some free. So that's city enable. Want to check that out? Only on iPhones I don't think. But yeah, winter board just the same thing as the settings. As I showed, it just lets you select your themes and you can always optimize in advanced settings. All right, next one up is uh, dream board. So. You can literally change and at the beginning of the um the middle of the or I think I'm not that sure. In the beginning of the video I showed um my minutes like I changed in and went into my themes. When I showed the packs, uh open up Dreamboard by mistake. That's what Dreamboard lets you do. You know, always if you have iPhone box, you can always delete it if you do not if we, so if you're in like so if if so for example if you're in a boot loop from downloading some random Dreamboard theme, but it's not a real boot loop. You can listen to your iPhone box, and then from there, open up the Dreamboard folder, and then delete that, and then easily, hey, you're done. Man. Yeah. And then you can just wait for it to boot up again, and then you're done. All right, so thank you guys for watching this wonderful video. If you guys have liked my top 35 city tweaks and apps, please give a like down below. Look up here if you want to see all the sources and tweaks and apps. It may be a text um, file. I'm really not that sure. Uh, I would actually, uh, don't actually look at that part because I don't think I've added that one yet, but, uh, come up here to subscribe, click down here in my channel, and then click here if you want to see more videos about me. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Peace.